Hey guys, it is uh, me, and it's been a while since I made a video. I don't think I've made a video quite like this before. I'm uh, just uh, walking around, actually. You know, kind of like uh, in the Pokemon games. I don't know how well you can see me there. But in the Pokemon games, uh, a lot of the fun to me is, you know, just being able to walk around and explore the different regions and see what's going on and what's around. And it's a whole lot more fun doing that in real life for me personally. That's probably why I'm so behind in Pokemon. Uh, why? I'm only I'm in that city that's north of uh, Lumio City. I'm just about to start the gym there. So now that there's uh, Hoenn remakes coming out, I've got a lot more reason to uh, rush through that game and finish it. So I'm not behind by this November when the new games come out. So this is uh, going to be my video about that news and what I think about it. Now, uh, for me personally, uh, well, I'm, I was, and it's funny, a couple of days before these new games were announced, I was thinking, you know, it's almost too bad that they might not be uh, uh, remakes of Gen 3, because uh, that was a really fun region. Hoenn, I mean, I, yeah, there's a little too much water in the, uh, the, uh, south, the, uh, the southeastern part of it, but it was a really fun and interesting region. The, uh, like, all the cities and routes, you know, there were volcanoes and forests and, and water courses. It was, a lot, it was a very diverse and interesting region, and I'd love to see that with modern 3DS-like graphics. So I was pretty happy when I saw the news that there... And I was also thinking, I know people criticize the uh, Gen 3 for using too many trumpets, but I thought it had a nice soundtrack myself. And so it's nice that there's going to be uh, remakes of it that's going to be reimagined with modern graphics and with uh, modern uh, musical sound quality. And uh, we got a nice little canal here. And me, for me personally, I'm glad they're they're making it. It's funny when I saw that they're remaking. I was actually working in the library on schoolwork, and I just glanced at Twitter real quick, and I saw the exact second that the official Pokemon Twitter feed updated with, oh, yeah, Omega Alpha Ruby and Omega Sapphire are coming to the Nintendo 3DS this November. And I looked at it and I was like, I, it only took me about a half second to check and make sure it was the real official Pokemon account. Because I don't follow any other parody Pokemon accounts or anything like that. And I'm like, yeah, this is official. And seconds later, Hoenn confirmed started trending on Twitter. And North America, Hoenn confirmed, and Ruby and Sapphire, and just Hoenn itself were, uh, they, well, those were trending for most of the day, which was hilarious. And it's, just seeing the, pull, the, uh, the, the amount of attention that announcement attracted, all it was was that official tweet and that really short announcement video. And uh, Hoenn confirmed was trending for most of the rest of the day. It was the top, I know for a good, at least an hour, Hoenn confirmed was the top non, like, promoted trending topic on Twitter. Uh, so, when people say, oh, people don't play Pokemon anymore, or no one likes Pokemon anymore, or no one, people only play smartphone games now, it definitely lets you know that that's uh, uh, not entirely the case. That Pokemon definitely has a lot of uh, uh, pulling power in, this, in the, uh, the social media sphere. Got an uh, airplane up there. It looks a lot closer in real life than it does uh, up there in the video, but uh, yeah, it's pretty close. They're flying a lot closer, even closer out here. So, I'm glad that I'm going to be able to get to explore it. I'm going to have to rush, well, rush through. Uh, you see, I actually, d I downloaded Pokemon Y at midnight, the day it launched globally, and I'm still only halfway through it. I love po the Pokemon RPGs, but I take my time with them, I savor them, I play them when I, sometimes when I'm not feeling that hot or when I need a little whimsy and adventure in my life and, some, you know, a distraction from some of the, the real life stress. So it's not something I, I, I don't rush through the games, I savor them. Uh, if it wasn't, if the new games were coming out when they were, it'd probably take me about a year and a half to get through a Pokemon Y, not even counting the, uh, the meta game. And then I'm still, I'm still not even through the metagame in uh, Pokemon, uh, in, in Unova, not only in Pokemon Black, but also in uh, Pokemon Black 2. You know, I'm still raising my Pokemon and spending time exploring the uh, post-game sections of Unova in those games. So I have a lot of Pokemon content to get through. And uh, for the Hoenn remakes, what I hope 
is that the uh, if they include the roller skates, I hope they make a simple option to turn the skates off. I'm surprised by how much resistance I see. I see people really opposed to this, but I think that the skates, they should be a simple option in Pokemon X and Y to turn the skates off. For the experience share, there's a simple option whether or not you want to use the skates. You can turn it on or you can turn it off. And, but then when you, you, the skates are a selectable item in your inventory, but you can't choose to turn them on or off. And I, you know what, I hope for the uh, Hoenn remakes, I doubt this because of, well, first off, because uh, in the official announcement video, it says in the video that, you know, in, in sm small print, that the game is going to be in 2D and certain areas are going to be playable in 3D. This is a huge disappointment. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, it's embarrassing to me. Well, it's disappointing. Embarrassing is a little too harsh that in Pokemon X, X and Y, the first... 3D games, the first, you know, Pokemon games for this new system, don't use 3D, and the, the system's called Nintendo 3DS, and it, it barely uses the stereoscopic 3D. Uh, and when you do turn it on during battles, the frame rate chugs down to the point where it looks like a freaking flipbook. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, and I'd hope that for the next games, they have more time to work on it, then the Game Freak's more familiar with the system, that they'd fix that and have the whole game playable in 3D if you choose to turn the slider up, but no, it's going to be mostly 2D only, and I, w I don't know how much of this is due to technical limitations and how much of it is just to sort of increase the value of the 2DS, Nintendo 2DS, because 2DS is sort of made aimed towards younger gamers, and because a lot of those younger gamers are going to be playing Pokemon, uh, that maybe because the 2DS won't have 2D, so that if they make the, the game mostly playable in 2D only, then the 3DS, having 3DS won't seem as much of a drawback for those players who are playing it on the 2DS. I'm going to walk across the street here, check out the other side of the canal. But uh, as I was saying, I wonder if the 2D is because of that, but it's a disappointment to me that 2D is that it's only going to be mostly playable in 2D still what i'd like to see is that most of the ta more of the areas to be like in route 1 in Kalos in route 1 where you're going from the first town where you start off to the second town where you have a different perspective a sort of behind the player perspective uh and in like the route 1 and in Lumio City where you see a lot more well Lumio City is like fully 3D it's like a fully polygonal 3D environment the controls are messed up there because like, they're trying to encourage you to use the skates. And in that one area, the controls work unlike the rest of the game. But the, the cool thing is that it's actually behind the player, fully po polygon 3D. Whereas the most of the game, it's like, yeah, it's polygon 3D, but it's kind of like above, above the player, sort of emulating sort of the old school style a bit more. I'd like more fully 3D areas. I'd like to see the creativity they could have as to how the world looks in full 3D. Because like, when I play those older 2D games, I'm imagining what it would be like to walk through the three, this three-dimensional world. You know, the, the relatively primitive graphics of the Pokemon games and all of the RPGs in general, I sort of, I use my imagination to be like, what would these places be like if I'm in there and walking through them and experiencing them as real-life locations? And hopefully I'd like to see more areas that take advantage of that in these, uh, these new uh, Hoenn remakes. And the fact that they are going to be Hoenn remakes just a year after Pokemon X and Y, it suggests to me that we're not going to see the true the Gen 7 on the uh, the 3DS. I don't think we're going to see like we did on the DS where we had, you know, the the uh, Rub what is it? What was it? Diamond and Pearl were Gen 4. Then we had uh, Gold and Silver remix as part of Gen 4. Then we had black and white as Gen 5, and then we got sequels to black and white. We got a lot of Pokemon games on the, major Pokemon games on the DS. I don't think we're going to be seeing that this time. I think Gen's, when Gen 7 comes out, I think we're going to be seeing it on the successor to the 3DS. I don't think the DS is going to have an eight-year lifespan before getting replaced like the DS did. There's a lot more pressure on Nintendo to sort of keep up with the game. Uh, as much as, while well, it's hype, that, oh, like, 3DS is doomed because people only play games on smartphones now. Uh, that's hype. But it is true that gamer trends are changing. And Nintendo's hardware strategy, they say, is changing in regards to their... Ha ha they've combined their handhelds and home console development houses into one 
sort of uh, team that they're. Pro I think they're going to end up making the uh, their next. The next, the the next Nintendo platforms, I think, might end up being some kind of fusion between the handheld and the consoles, and uh, I think I, it would be really great for them if they could get Pokemon, a 3D Pokemon, and a Mario app for whatever the successor to 3DS is. The next generation Nintendo handheld platform, whatever form that may take, if they could get Pokemon, a major Pokemon game out, RPG, and a uh, Mario 3D Mario out, those would be two strong things I like to see, and because of that. I don't think we're going to end up seeing uh, Mario, I mean, uh, the Gen 7 on 3DS. Uh, so I'm running out of space on my battery, on my, um, well, I'm running out of memory card space, and I think I've said enough about the topic of the uh, the new Pokemon games. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, being out in the out in the world with me at this uh, beautiful uh, canal in this nice little scenic neighborhood. And hopefully my audio came out good, because lots of cars passing and people doing uh, construction work. I don't know if you can see over there this guy in a, in a basket sawing limbs off of a tree over there, actually. Uh, so that's it for now, and uh, thank you very much for watching.